Hello, my friends, and welcome to another read aloud at the Winooski Memorial Library. I hope you are all well and healthy. I hope you are all staying safe. We really miss you here at the library. It's so quiet and lonely without you. No one's playing with my potato heads. I cannot wait till we can build Legos again. It's going to be fun. Today, I'm going to read to you a book by Patrick McDonald. And it's brought to us by Little Brown Publishing Company. Thank you so much, Little Brown, for your permission to read your books. The name of this book is Art. I'm going to come around over there so I can see the pictures better. Just a minute. Art by Patrick McDonald. This is art. And this is art. Art and his art. Can you tell them apart? When art is in play, get out of art's way. He zigs, he zags, he really gets wired. There is no stopping art when art is inspired. He draws scribbles. That squiggle. Dots. Red, yellow, blue. Splotches with blotches and the curliest cue. Art stares at the paper and uses his noodle to conjure up the perfect doodle. And doodles need houses, trees, and cool cars. A dog, a moon, and a billion bright stars. Art draws and draws till he flops in a heap. And among his creations, he falls fast asleep. Now let's be quiet and try something we've heard. A picture is worth a thousand words. And when he awakes, a little bit later, Art sees his art on the refrigerator. Held there by magnets, stars, and a heart. Put there by mother. Cause mother loves art. That's the end of our read aloud today. 
I hope you have had some time to make some art of your own while you've been home. What's that? Did somebody find my friend the bear? You're kidding me, really? Again? Oh, that bear. He is a sneaky one, isn't he? I wonder where he'll end up next time. Thanks for listening. I hope to see you again soon. Take care and stay safe. Remember, wash your hands. Goodbye.